She was a strong black woman. She was the eldest of Jethro's daughters, his only children. Zipporah's dad was from the Midian, a nomadic clan in the ancient Levant. He was also a high priest, which means Zipporah was also a PK, a priest's kid. My name is Zipporah. My husband's name is Moses. My man is something else. <laughs> First, I met him when he was on the run. He wanted to tell me everything, but I said, don't make me an accomplice. What happened in Egypt stays in Egypt. <sighs> he comes from money, but he doesn't want anything to do with it. He stutters, but he has an opinion about everything. <laughs> He's as skinny as a stick, but his heart is as big as the desert. One day he just comes running from the mountains, just a stuttering. He says he just finished talking to a burning bush. A burning bush. A burning bush. He, he says that the bush told him that he needs to go back to Egypt to free his people. I asked him, has he been hitting himself on the head with the staff again to stay awake? He says no. All because of a burning bush that may or may not have talked to him, we're supposed to move our family to a strange land where he may be thrown in jail and leave us stranded? <sighs> Maybe if it was a talking ship. That happened to my uncle once. But he was drunk. I believe that this was a test of my faith. My faith in God. My faith in my husband and the visions that God gives him. My faith in myself that I am strong enough to be what my husband needs me to be in order for him to do what God has required him to do. I am Zipporah, the eldest daughter of Jethro and the wife of Moses. I am strong enough. Yeah.